بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله العلي الواحد العالم الفرد الغني الماجد وأفضل الصلاة والتسليم على النبي المصطفى الكريم وآله وصحبه الأطهار لا سيما رفيقه في الغار وبعد My dear respected brothers and sisters honorable listeners hitherto based on my previous video I have suggested that Sheikh Imran Hussein and our contention with him is in regards to the Quran. Meaning, Sheikh Imran Hussein posits such interpretations of the Quran that violates the apparent meaning of the Quran and interpretations which are in contradistinction to 1400 years of scholarship. In this video, inshallah, I will be arguing and demonstrating that his eschatological explanation of the Qur'an not only contradicts 1400 years of scholastic discourse and not only does it necessitate the rejection of the Qur'an rather it is the rejection of the Qur'an itself. In other words, Sheikh Imran Hussein rejects the Qur'an although he ardently argues that he doesn't. At this juncture, I would like to humbly request the viewers to listen to this critical analysis of Sheikh Imran Hussein objectively. And please endeavor not to let your emotions or maybe your servile conformism for Sheikh Imran Hussein cloud your intellect, judgment and sagacity. Now, Please listen to the following clip in which Sheikh Imran Hussein explains what the Quran is. The original Quran which was sent down was a recitation, yani, yani, kan kibat. Something that was located in the world of sound. That's the Quran, located in the world of sound. And subsequently, Nabi Muhammad ordered that it should be inscribed. And the scribes will then recite for him and he will listen. He would not read to confirm because he couldn't read. He would listen to confirm that what they have written is correct. And when they wrote, they didn't write with Fatah and Kesra and Dhamma. No, the Arab doesn't need that. These are called diacritical marks, Fatah and Kesra and Dhamma. And this was inserted into the written text of the Quran years and years and years afterwards. There was no Quran, none with a Fatah and Kesra and Dhamma. It is only when non-Arabs entered into Islam in large numbers and they did not have Arabic as their language that you had to insert human beings, not angels. Human beings. And these human beings put in the Fatah and Kesra and Dhamma. So, my dear brothers and sisters, as you have heard, in this clip, Sheikh Imran Hussein makes two pivotal claims, two main claims. The first claim he makes is the original Quran, the original Quran that was revealed to the Prophet ﷺ is one of recitation. The one that is located in the world of sound, as he says in the Urdu language, Qan Kibat, meaning a matter pertaining to hearing. That is the first pivotal claim he makes. The second claim he makes in this clip is diacritical marks. Diacritical marks, that is to say, Dhamma, Fatha, Kasra, or in the Urdu language, Zabar, Zair, Pesh. These marks are people's interventions. Human beings inserted these marks in the Quran. Both of these points contradict the definition of the Quran. Both of these points contradict the definition of the Qur'an. However, 
before I explain why that is, let's continue to listen to what Sheikh Imran Hussein has to say about these diacritical marks. And sometimes the same word can be written different ways. <laughs> and here is one example. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al Zukhraf, about Nabi Isa Alaihissalam. وَإِنَّهُ لَعَلَمٌ لِسَّانِ He is the sign of the last hour. This makes perfect sense. He is the sign of the last hour. And this is what Nabi Muhammad والسلام, said. But someone put in the diacritical marks instead of alamun ain alif lam alif nun damma alamun put ilmun instead of alamun ain kesra a pesh a pesh zir zabar pesh in urdu Zabar Zair Pesha Zair. Instead of Dhamma, uh, sorry, instead of Kesra. I don't know the Urdu terms. So they make it Wa innahu la ilmun lissa'a. And he is the knowledge of the hour. Excuse me, even a schoolboy would know that if he is the knowledge of the hour, then we are excused from coming to the conclusion that the knowledge of the hour is with him. How can he be the knowledge of the hour and he doesn't have the knowledge of the hour? Did you understand? You say he is the knowledge of the hour and he doesn't have the knowledge of the hour. <laughs> so my dear brothers and sisters, as you have seen, Sheikh Imran Hussein, he gives an example of the Quran, a verse from the Quran, Surah Zukhraf, verse 61. In order to prove his point that the Quran, the diacritical marks, have led to mistakes in the Quran. I just want to make it very clear from the onset that this principle that Sheikh Imran Hussein employs, he has done this uh, in other places of the Quran. However, for today's discourse and our today's uh, reply, we will be concentrate, concentrating on this particular verse. So Sheikh Imran Hussein, he postulates Two things regarding this verse. He makes two claims regarding this verse. Wa innahu la ilmul lissa'a. Number one, that this verse or this recitation of the verse does not make sense according to him. And number two, the diacritical marks in this verse have been inserted by someone. And as he mentions later, either they did this deliberately or it was made, uh, it, it was done by mistake. So the first point that he mentions that it doesn't make sense. The reality is that this verse does not make sense only to Sheikh Imran Hussein. 1400 years of scholars, 1400 years of our Islamic uh, interpretation, exegesis of the Quran, nowhere do we find anyone or a scintilla of evidence that suggests that this doesn't make sense. And why doesn't it make sense, may I ask? The verse clearly says, وَإِنَّهُ لَعِلْمُ لِسَّاعَ And indeed, he, meaning Isa alayhi salam, is knowledge of the final hour. Imran Hussein says that this doesn't make sense. How can he be knowledge of the final hour when he doesn't have the knowledge of the final hour? But what Sheikh Imran Hussein does not realize that the word ilm here is not an active participle. 
is not ism fa'il or um, an active participle. Allah is not saying wa innahu la alim or wa innahu la alim that Isa alayhi salam has knowledge of the final hour. It simply says that Isa alayhi salam, he himself, his entity is a means of knowledge. It is a means of knowledge. The word used ilm is masdar, verbal noun. Isa alayhi salam, he himself, his entity, blessed entity is a means of knowledge of the final hour. Meaning when he arrives through him, people will know that the final hour is close. Very simple. And this explanation, all of the Mufassirun in Tafsir ibn Kathir and Qurtubi, Ruhul Ma'ani of Alusi, Imam Fakhruddin Razi in his Tafsir al Kabir, and all of the Mufassirun have given this explanation. My dear brothers, I'm going to be respectful uh, as much as possible. But the reality is that this, the words that he uses, Sheikh Imran Hussein, to criticize his interlocutors, namely schoolboy. I want to suggest very respectfully that even a schoolboy will not make this mistake. A beginner student of Sarf and Nahw, a student of the Arabic language who is in the foundation uh, years, he knows that this does not mean that Isa al Islam has knowledge of the final hour, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does. Let me, uh, and dare I say, a person who is completely ignorant of the Arabic language but has read the translation, has studied the translation of the Quran, even this person will not make this mistake. So I, the question arises, I beg the question, why is Sheikh Imran Hussein asserting that this is nonsensical and absurd? Is it because he has a lack of understanding? of the Arabic language or no understanding thereof. This is why Imam Shatbi Rahmatullahi Alay inside his al itisam mentions that people who are unaware of the Arabic language usually make major mistakes in understanding the Quran and Sunnah. So this is the first thing. It completely makes sense just by re reading the translation. I advise everybody to pick up the Quran, read the translation of Surah Zukhraf verse 61 and it makes complete sense. It only doesn't make sense to Sheikh Imran Hussein's aql and intellect. The second reason why he rejects this verse is because of the diacritical marks. He says that somebody inserted the dhamma fatha kasra and it's supposed to be wa innahu la alam that indeed Isa alayhi salam is a sign of the final hour. I'm going to reply to this point which is arguably the most important point of our discourse and I will do this by uh, diverting uh, everybody's attention towards the definition of the Quran. How do we define the Quran? What is the Quran? And this definition has been given by several scholars. You will find this definition in Irshad al-Fuhul, in Sharh al-Fiqh al-Akbar and in Al-Ihkam by Amidi. The definition is that the Qur'an فَهُوَ كَلَامُ اللَّهِ It is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. المنزل على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم which was revealed to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. المنقول إلينا نقلا متواترا بلا شبه which has been transmitted to us. Generation after generation such transmission which is متواتر meaning overwhelming. Copious, bila shubha, without a scintilla, without a modicum of doubt. And this is very important, my dear friends. The definition of the Quran is that it has to be mutawatir. Mutawatir meaning that since beginning of time, meaning from the time of the Prophet ﷺ, every generation, so many people have transmitted this Quran that is rationally impossible to conceive and imagine that they were all lying or made a mistake. This is why the definition of mutawatir or tawatir the ulama give لا يتصور الأقل توافقهم توافقهم على الكذب that the aql, the intellect cannot fathom, cannot conceive, cannot conceptualize that everybody agreed upon lying or upon mistake. 
So this verse, وَإِنَّهُ لَعِلْمُ لِلسَّاعَةِ That Isa is a form or means of knowledge for the final hour is mutawatir. Meaning, every single generation, so many people have recited this verse in this manner, it is impossible to even imagine and fathom that they all made a mistake. And by the way, my dear friends, Sheikh Imran Hussein very audaciously, and I advise him at this point, for the sake of Allah, please fear Allah. He deems this recitation as foolishness. He says, Ye kya hai, as you've heard in the clip. And he says, school boys. My question is, all of these people that have been reciting this verse over generations, millions and billions, na'udhu billah, are they all foolish? Are they all school boys? And mashallah, Sheikh Imran Hussein, a PhD graduate, has come to do Islam and rectify the entire ummah. My dear friends, please excuse my emotions here but this is something to get emotion over we're talking about the quran here we're talking about our main revelatory evidence the wahi revelation the book of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he says every single copy of the quran every single copy of the quran is transparently false transparently false meaning clearly false listen to the clip and you will see so this one is transparently transparently false that every single copy of the Quran you pick up today they have put in and he is the knowledge of the hour when it should be he is a sign of all signs of the hour so my dear brothers and sisters as you have seen Sheikh Imran Hussein very clearly postulates that every single copy that we have in the world today they have this this mistake, وَإِنَّهُ لَعِلْمٌ لِلسَّاعَةِ And this is transparently false. I want to ask a question at this point. If according to Imran Hussein, every single copy of the Qur'an has this mistake, which copy of the Qur'an is preserved? Which copy of the Qur'an is preserved if every single copy has a mistake? This means that the Qur'an is not preserved. وَلِيَعْذُ بِاللَّهِ and I also want to emphasize that وَإِنَّهُ لَعِلْمُ لِلسَّاعَةِ which according to Imran Hussein is foolish, foolishness after which he even slightly laughs it is a schoolboy interpretation etc. This is the Qur'an this is the Qur'an this is the only version of the Qur'an why? because the other recitation وَإِنَّهُ لَعَلَمْ that indeed Isa alayhi salam is a sign that recitation is not Qur'an. Why? Because Qur'an by definition has to be mutawatir. It has to be transmitted overwhelmingly. And that recitation which Imran Hussein suggests, it is khabri wahid, is a single chain of transmission. From Sayyiduna Abdullah bin Abbas, uh, Abdullah bin Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhumah. It is a single chain of transmission, khabir wahid, and a single chain of transmission cannot qualify as the Qur'an. The Qur'an has to be mutawatir. Yes, the scholars have used and employed that recitation as tafsir, explanation, and exegesis of this verse. However, this verse, وَإِنَّهُ لَعِلْمٌ لِلسَّاعَةِ This is the only recitation. This is the Qur'an. This is why all of the qiraat mutawatira, if you pick up any qiraat book, any Qur'an, they will only have this verse as a recitation. Therefore, you are not allowed to recite وَإِنَّهُ لَعَلَمٌ in salah, for example. Why? Because it's not Qur'an. That narration can only qualify as interpretation of the Qur'an. So he is rejecting the Qur'an. I want to carry on. Uh, with the definition of the Qur'an. Some scholars have also defined the Qur'an as following, uh, including what I've already said, Al-Maktub fil Masahif, that which is written in manuscripts. Again the question, if every manuscript has got this mistake, which manuscript is protected of the Qur'an? Al-Mahfud fil Qulub, which is protected and preserved in the hearts. Again, if every single hafiz of the Qur'an has memorized the Qur'an وَإِنَّهُ لَعِلْمٌ لِلسَّاعَةِ Then which, verg which version is protected? That is the only version وَإِنَّهُ لَعِلْمٌ لِلسَّاعَةِ نَعُوذِ بِاللَّهِ All of the hafizin, hafizun of the Qur'an have incorrectly memorized this verse الْمَقْرُوءُ بِالْأَلْسِنَةِ Which is recited upon the tongue Every tongue recites وَإِنَّهُ لَعِلْمٌ لِلسَّاعَةِ Which recitation is protected? المسموع بالآذان every, 
every ear, every ear hears this verse as wa innahu la ilmun lisaa since the time of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So everybody has been uh, has been hearing the wrong version of the Quran, according to Imran Hussein. This definition, the reality is, every single part, every single clause of this definition, Imran Hussein interpretation contradicts. Yes. And I want to make it very clear, he gives a very interesting disclaimer. He gives a disclaimer, Imran Hussein says, don't lie against me, I'm not saying the Quran has any mistakes. The Quran is pre protected. Listen to the following clip. So someone did some, you know, dal me kuch kala hai. Someone did that with these diacritical marks. And this is wrong. The Quran does not have any mistake. All of these critics will come shouting from their mouth. Look at Imran Hussein, you see the Quran has mistakes in it. Tell these go school boys go and get, get some rest. <laughs> I'm not saying there's a mistake in the Quran. So don't be, don't be uh, lies against me. I'm saying that human beings, when they put in the diacritical marks, made a mistake here. Maybe it was done deliberately, maybe it was done accidentally. And the verse says, وَإِنَّهُ لَعَلَمٌ لِسَّعَى And he is the sign of the hour. And not that he is the knowledge of the hour. So my dear brothers, as you have heard, Na'udhu Billah Imran Hussein suggests regarding this verse and the recitation of this verse, which is the Quran, Dal me kuch kala hai. Those who understand the Urdu language are well aware of the negative connotations with this, with this sentence. Anyway, I'm not going to go into that. Then he says, all of these critics will come shouting from their mouths. Chalo, I won't shout. Look at Imran Hussein. He is saying Quran has mistakes in it. Tell these school boys that go and get some rest. Alhamdulillah, I've had plenty of rest today. Even though he says the Quran doesn't have mistakes, he is still rejecting the Quran. Why? Because what he considers to be na'udhu billah foolishness, schoolboy interpretation, is the Quran, which has been transmitted through tawatur overwhelmingly. So he can say, I don't reject the Quran, he is rejecting the Quran. A logical example would be if I say, I do not believe that rational beings exist. I do not believe that rational being, beings exist. However, I believe humans exist. Well, my friend, humans are rational beings and rational beings are humans. So it doesn't matter how you look at it, whether you grab your ear like this or you grab it like this, it's the same thing. He is rejecting the Quran, unfortunately. And this is tawatur. He says foolishness. And may I say this very respectfully, inshallah. His foolishness is something to cry over. Why? Because rejecting tawatur is one of the most absurd things to do. As I mentioned in the definition of tawatur, it is inconceivable that everybody lied or they all agreed upon a mistake. An example would be, just imagine if you haven't visited uh, London, you haven't seen London. However, you have heard regarding London, you have heard overwhelming reports that London exists. If somebody turns around and says, well, I don't believe London exists, we will say to that person that you need a psychologist, a psychiatrist. This is worse than this. Rejecting this tawatur is worse than the rejection of tawatur regarding London because this is to do with the revelation and the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another thing I want to mention before I conclude, this principle of Sheikh Imran Hussein, that diacritical marks, they are inserted by humans, therefore it can have mistakes. What he does not understand is that these diacritical marks, wa innahu la ilm, the kasra or the zair under the ayn, etc., these diacritical marks represent the recitation and the recitation is the Quran. If everybody got the diacritical marks wrong, it means everybody has been reciting the Quran wrong. If everybody has been reciting the Quran wrong till now, it means the Quran is wrong. Simple, simple logic. And the worst part is, my dear friends, is where do we stop with this principle? 
Tomorrow somebody can turn around and say, for example, Imran Hussein can turn around and say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, the, op- the first verse, the first verse of Surah Fatiha, is supposed to be Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, with a kasra, a zair under the lamb, not fatha, not zabr. Why? Because these are the diacritical marks, these fatha, dhamma, kasra, they have been inserted, and Imran Hussein says, according to my subjective reasoning, and my subjective sagacity and intelligence, I think alimin makes more sense than alamin. Na'udhu billah. What is there to stop him? He can employ and internalize this principle in every single verse and every single word of the Quran. Every single word and verse, na'udhu billah, will then be questionable. The veracity, the authenticity, the preservation and protection of the Quran will be under, will be under objection and question. Finally, my dear friends, this is my appeal and my request if Sheikh Imran Hussein watches this, if he watches this, or any of his followers. I don't have any personal grudge for any of you. I request him to make tawbah. Make tawbah publicly. Why? Because these videos are public. We all have to answer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I don't want Sheikh Imran Hussein or any, any other Muslim brother dying upon this belief. I want for Sheikh Imran Hussein, as I want for myself and everybody else, the mercy of Allah, the forgiveness of Allah. And we have this chance whilst we are alive. Whilst we are breathing, as they say in Urdu, Jab ke saans hai, to chance hai. As long as we have breath, inshallah we have a chance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He can forgive us and he can shower us with his mercy. But if he dies or if anybody else dies with this belief that the Qur'an has mistakes in this manner, this is very dangerous for the Akhirah. This is my humble request. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our sins. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our Iman. Give us death upon Iman and resurrect us on the day of judgment with Iman. Wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.